What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am previewing upcoming spring steel books because the months of April and May have some fantastic looking steel books that will be coming out. So if you've not put in your pre-order yet for any of these, or you didn't know that any of these steel books were coming out, now is the time. So that way you can put in your pre-order and they will arrive on your doorstep on release day. So we are starting with next week, April 9th. Now I'm not talking about the four steel books from Lionsgate that just passed because I've talked about those steel books a lot. I've shown them off. I did an entire video about them unboxing all four of them. So if you are interested, just check out that video. But we're going to start off with next Tuesday, April 9th. There is one steel book coming out. It is King Kong 4K Steelbook. Now, I'm excited for the steelbook. I think the cover artwork looks really awesome. This is the version of King Kong with Jeff Bridges and also Jessica Lang. Just to let you know, this was my first introduction to King Kong. So I'm kind of partial to this one. I got some nostalgia here and some history. So I did place my pre-order for this steelbook. It will be arriving on Tuesday. I'm very excited about that to rewatch that movie again. Like I said, it's fun. It's kind of cheesy and it's full of nostalgia for me. So I am excited. So now let's move on to the next date, which is April 23rd. Very excited for this date as well because we have The Departed. The Departed is finally getting a 4K upgrade and we are getting a 4K steelbook. There's also another steelbook coming out on that day, a 4K steelbook, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2. Now, personally for myself, I don't need the Justice League steelbook because that's DC animation. I'm not real. That's not really my thing. You guys already know that. I don't gravitate towards animation. So I'm going to leave that one alone. I don't need that one. But definitely... I already placed my pre-order for The Departed 4K Steelbook because I, it's a great movie. It won Best Picture. It's Martin Scorsese. It's Leo. It's Jack Nicholson. It's Matt Damon. It's a complete all-star cast. It's such an amazing movie. It's great. It's been a while since I've seen it. So I'm really looking forward to this 4K Steelbook. All right. The next date we're going to talk about is April 30th, and we do have a lot of steel books. This is a major steel book release day. So first off, we have Madam Web. Madam Web 4K steel book. Now, yes, I know all of you are gonna ask, did you pre-order this, Susan? Even though you already know my feelings about the movie, I did my little 10 minute rant about this film. It's not the best movie, but did I order this? Yes, I did, because it's not MCU Marvel, but it is a Marvel property. I mean, I can't justify not picking it up because I have the Venom movies. I have Morbius, for God's sakes. Like, so I might as well just continue it and pick up Madam Web. I mean, I can always use it for something here on YouTube. You know, a worst list, a regret, you know, whatever. I can always use it as material. That's not really the reason why you should be buying physical media, but at this point, everything with Marvel, I kind of always collect. So I'm not going to stop now. I might as well just get it. So I did place my pre-order for Madam Web. Now, what are my thoughts about the Steelbook itself? Because some people were commenting, wanting to know my opinion about the cover artwork. Honestly, they could have done a little bit better. I mean, this is very, very basic. Basic is the perfect, perfect word for the cover artwork for this steelbook. I mean, but I guess, should I be surprised? No, because the movie was extremely basic. So why shouldn't the steelbook cover artwork match how the tone of the movie was? So I, I'm not really overly thrilled with how the steelbook looks, but... What are we going to do? There's nothing we can do about it. Just place the pre-order or not. So yeah, I did. I'm a sucker. I know I'm probably going to get huge comments down below, but it is what it is. That's all I can say. So Madam Web, if you want to pre-order it, do it. If not, just don't. <laughs> just ignore it. 
All right, next up on April 30th, we have the Oceans Trilogy. Now you do get your choice because there is a triple pack with a slip cover, but then we also have these steel books as well for Oceans 11, 12, and 13. I just put them all together on the screen right here next to me. I'm choosing not to pick up these steel books because I am fortunate Warner Brothers is going to send me the triple pack with the slip cover. So I don't I don't find the need to pick up the steel books. I'm not overly thrilled with the cover artwork. I mean, if it was something else, maybe possibly I could be tempted in the future, but I'm going to say no for right now. But if you love these movies, you love this trilogy, then you may want to opt to pick up all of those steel books. I mean, they're not the worst cover artwork I've ever seen, but I'm tending to be a little bit more selective and choosy these days, and I'm just going to be fine with the slipcover that is sent to me. I'm in a position where I receive things, and I'm very grateful for that, so I'm going to opt to save some money and leave the steel books alone. All right. So now we have more Disney Plus shows that we are getting with Steelbooks. Now with these Steelbooks, we are getting the 4K option as well as the Blu-ray Steelbook option. Just to let you guys know, as previously with WandaVision and all the other shows that were released. So first off, we have Andor Complete First Season 4K and Blu-ray Steelbook and also Obi-Wan Kenobi complete series 4k and blu-ray steelbook now personally for myself i'm not going to order these because i'm not into star wars i've seen the movies yes but i've only seen each one of them one time i'm not a complete like super fan of star wars at all whatsoever so i haven't even seen these shows on disney plus so there's really no reason for me to pick these up but if you're a super fan, if you love this universe and you're just watching these shows over and over and over again, then you might as well pick up the Steelbook and they look nice. I will say they do look nice. Now, now we're going over to the Marvel end because we have Moon Knight season one. I'm not really sure if they're going to do another season of Moon Knight or not. I'm not really sure on that, but Moon Knight, we'll just call it season one. 4K and Blu-ray Steelbook, and also Falcon and the Winter Soldier 4K and Blu-ray Steelbook. Now, I did not watch Moon Knight. However, this Steelbook is looking really, really nice. Falcon and Winter Soldier, I'm kind of tempted because I did watch that show on Disney+. Plus. I did enjoy it, but not as much as WandaVision. So I think because of that, I'm just going to opt to not pick this up because I know these steel books are a little bit pricier. They're around what, 50, $55. So because of that, and I'm not constantly rewatching the shows either. They were a one and done watch, at least Falcon and Winter Soldier, you know, like it was a one and done. I didn't go back and revisit the episode. So because of that, I think I'm just going to not pick these ones up. But they're gorgeous looking steel books. They really, really are. So if you're a super fan of these shows, of all four of these shows that I just mentioned, then I can honestly see why you would want all these because they're great looking steel books. For anyone that's a super fan of those shows, I completely get it. I understand it. All right, so now we are going into the month of May. So what does May hold for us for steel books? And keep in mind, this list could always change at any time because, you know, new releases are constantly being updated, so it could change. All right, so going into the first Tuesday of May, which is May 7th, we have The Crow. Now, I know a lot of people are excited for The Crow, that it's getting a 4K upgrade. I've never seen the movie yet. Don't kill me. I know. What am I doing? Where have I been? But The Crow is getting two 4K Steelbook options. We have a regular 4K Steelbook and then also a Walmart exclusive 4K Steelbook, which I believe I'm going to put on the right-hand side of the screen. So the right-hand side, the picture on the right, is the Walmart exclusive Steelbook, just so you guys know. 
So when it comes to the Crow 4K Steelbook, which one am I picking up, if at all? Well, again, I'm very fortunate because Paramount will be sending over the 4K slipcover, but I am very tempted to do a double dip because it seems like these Steelbooks are looking great. I'm not really sure which one I would like to go with. I'm going to hold off for a little bit and decide and make my final decision, but it is very tempting. So if you're a major fan of The Crow, which you probably are, it seems like a lot of people are, then you may want to consider picking up the 4K Steelbook. And which one? I don't know because they both look great. Okay, moving on to the next Tuesday in May. This is a huge Steelbook day because we have Dune Part 2 4K Steelbook, also American Sniper, 4k steelbook as well so american sniper this is looking like a great steelbook and am i going to pick this one up i'm not really sure i think i'm getting a copy of the regular 4k slip from warner brothers so i think i will pass on the 4k steelbook but it is looking like a very very nice steelbook and as far as dune part two i'm just excited for dune part two who would have guessed this looks like a great steelbook. I do have to be honest. Great looking steelbook. So I may double dip with this item and pick up the 4K steelbook because it's looking really, really nice. All right, the next item on May 14th. This is a huge steelbook that everyone wants. Killer Clowns from Outer Space getting a 4K steelbook. Now, Killer Clowns was in the rumor mill for a 4K upgrade for a really, really long time. And that's why I held off on picking up the regular Blu-ray because I knew eventually it was most likely probably going to happen. And the announcement was made, I think about a month ago now. So it's sold out completely over on Scream Factory's website. So then I noticed that a couple of other sites were starting to offer killer clowns for the steel book because out of the two, the slipcover or the steel book, I definitely wanted the steel book. It's great looking cover artwork. It just, it's colorful, it's fun. So I wanted that steel book. And I noticed that Amazon had it for pre order for about $32. I said, you know what? That's not too bad for a steel book. Let me pre order this before it sells out. So I put in my pre order. I'm all set for Killer Clowns to arrive. And I'm very excited because I have not seen this movie probably for 30 years, 30 years at least. So this is going to be a fun revisit. I cannot wait to rewatch Killer Clowns from Outer Space in 4K. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All right. Also on this date, and I think this is the last Steelbooks on May 14th, we have another two kind of like joint efforts, Vestron, Lionsgate, and Walmart all working together to put out these steelbooks from the Vestron line. We have the Gate Blu-ray steelbook and also the Lair of the White Worm. What a title. That's a tongue twister. That is a Blu-ray steelbook as well. Remember, these are Walmart exclusive steelbooks. So if you do want to place your pre-order for these, then go over to walmart.com. But these are very nice looking steelbooks as well. I may get them from Lionsgate. We will see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they will come in the mail. But if not, most likely, I will probably pick them up in the future because I did pick up Little Monsters, Kickboxer, and Shivers. They're great looking steelbooks, tons of color on those. And that's something that you like to have with your steelbooks. It's all about the cover artwork. So, well, it's a major reason. It's the movie too, but it's the major reason the cover artwork with steelbooks. So they're bright, they're colorful, they're colorful, they're interesting looking. So most likely I will pick these up either way. I am interested. All right, so the next date in May, there's only one steelbook being released so far to my knowledge on May 21st. And that is American Hustle. American Hustle, this movie that I believe for the 10 year anniversary is getting a 4K upgrade with a 4K steelbook. So I am interested in picking up this movie. I do own the Blu-ray. I think I've only seen it a couple of times, but that was a really, really long time ago. So I'm interested in picking up the steelbook 
revisiting the movie and watching it with a 4k upgrade so i am excited about that one i haven't placed my pre-order yet for this one but i probably should do that sometime soon and our final date that we're going to talk about is may 28th we have yet again another steel book for batman 89 so batman 89 is coming out with another 4k steel book as well as bob marley one love 4k steel book as well I'm not really sure if I'm going to pick up the Batman 89 brand new 4K Steelbook because I do already own the movie. I have a Steelbook, but it's not 4K. It's a regular Blu-ray, but I do have a Steelbook for that movie already. I do have a 4K for that movie already because I do have the Batman, you know, the Tim Burton and the Joel Schumacher 4 movie collection pack. So I do have the Bat or I do have Batman. There we go. Not the Batman. I do have Batman on 4K. So it's not like I'm missing out on the 4K. I'm not really sure if I do want to pick up this brand new 4K steel book. This is a question mark for myself. I'm not really sure. And as far as Bob, Bob strike that, reverse it. Bah, bah, bah. As far as Bob Marley One Love goes, there we go. Another tongue twister, but I'll get there. As far as that steel book goes. I'm a little loopy today and goofy, I guess. I don't know. As far as Bob Marley goes, 4K steel book. I don't know if I want to pick up this movie. I'm not really sure. That one is a question mark as well. Maybe, I think I'm going to wait to stream it on Paramount Plus to see because it is coming from Paramount. So maybe I'll receive this from Paramount. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to hold off to see if I do. And if I don't, maybe I'll just possibly stream that movie. And if I do enjoy it, then I can always pick it up down the line. And the final steel book to talk about on May 28th, we have Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. We are getting a 4K steel book. There's actually two different steel books for the same movie. One of them is a Walmart exclusive, and the other steel book, I guess you can just pick up anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, uh, or not Walmart, but, you know, other places. But one of them is a Walmart exclusive, and the other is you can pick up anywhere. And these steelbooks are looking extremely similar. There's really only a slight difference between the two. I believe the Walmart exclusive has, like, little extra details to the steelbook, and the other, like, you can get anywhere steelbook is more on the plain side. That's the only difference that I'm seeing between these two steelbooks. Well, I also think the Walmart exclusive steelbook comes with a poster and something else. So there's a little bit of extra swag in the Walmart exclusive steelbook as opposed to the more plain steelbook. But that's the only difference that I know. Otherwise, they're looking exactly the same. You got the same movie inside, so I don't know. But I'm not picking up that anyway because... I've never seen Star Trek. I've never seen Star Trek. No shows, no movies, no nothing. So it's not anything that I need to pick up. So those are all as of right now, because as I said, it could change at any time. But as for right now, those are all of the steel books we can expect to come out in the next couple of months in spring. So comment down below and let me know which of these steel books you're interested in picking up. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.